What do you remember about John Alton? I mean, he was really a special type of uh, really, director of photography. Um, uh, that, that moody stuff, I mean, it was wonderful. Uh, one of the things I, I do remember was when the lighting changed on uh, Hugh Beaumont's face. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was right out of the inner sanctum. <laughs> yeah. It was something, because I'd never seen this film, of course, I yeah. really, uh, I was quite astonished at some well, of the things. And I thought your close I thought your close ups, even though you know the film was an old print, but when you had the close up you had like the one key light, both you and Kathy O'Donnell, and I thought the close ups were striking. Mm -hmm. And when I talked Arnold Laban did was probably was the script supervisor on this and a lot of Eagle Lion films and he told me Alton was so revolutionary because they used to have a, a whole electrical staff and they had overhead lights and they had floor lights and so on. And he said, Alton came in and said, get rid of all the overhead lights. I just want to use minimalist lighting, put a light here, a light there. And what he did is he gave the director, according to Arnold, so much freedom because it took such a, a shorter amount of time to do setups and so on and so forth. Of course, the electrical staff didn't like him very much because <laughs> he was eliminating, uh, actually eliminating jobs, but he really was a genius. And he went on from here to MGM, and he ended up winning the Oscar for cinematography for An American in Paris with Gene Kelly. So, you know, noir never gets the recognition of the Oscar. Well, there you I, I remember that uh, one of the uh, other things that, uh, about it was that it um, the soft focus right. on us in those big close-ups was just uh, gorgeous. Now, I'd like to talk to you about Mark Daniels, who played my husband in this. Uh, Mark Daniels had to get the name O. Daniels because somebody in Screen Actors Guild already had the name of Mark Daniels. Mark Daniels' real name was Danny Marcus, and he was a famous director. Anyway, that was Mark Daniels, but it didn't matter because Mark O. Daniels, from the pictures, real name was Stan Onus. <laughs> 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 Do, uh, for Love or Money and be the ingenue in that, they said to me, do you know anybody who might be good to play the young juvenile in the show? And he's got to be tall and handsome and uh, be able to play the sort of weakish character of the boy next door. But he's, you know, not a child, he's got to be a man. I said, yeah, I'll get Mark Daniels, Mark O. Daniels. And so Mark went on with me to, to uh, Broadway and was in for Love or Money. It was nice to have a colleague in that with me. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Kathy O'Donnell. Uh, Goldwyn put her in the best years of our lives. That was in 1946. And perhaps you remember a very touching scene. Harold Russell. And Harold Mark. Russell, in which he yeah. describes to his bride to be, I believe, how the claws really worked on How him. What he has to do yeah. when he goes to bed at night. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And um, so I can't quite figure these years out, but she may have done Bury Me Dead as a loan out in 47. Mm -hmm. And um, then she was also with They Came, They Live by Night yeah. uh, for Arcade in 49. But here's the juicy part. <laughs> <laughs> she married Robert Weiler when she was 23 and he was 48. And he was William Weiler's brother. Goldwyn was in the big, in the middle of a big contract feud with William, William Wyler, because he had left Goldwyn and wouldn't resign. So Goldwyn told Kathy to divorce Robert, <laughs> <laughs> and she said no. And so he dropped her contract, and she never did another really big movie. But the marriage lasted all her life. Uh, uh, yeah. The golden age of Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. uh, I remember far we had uh, Farley Granger, at, uh, uh, Eddie had him up at Noir City, and he spoke so fondly of Kathy O'Donnell, uh, not only They Live By Night, but also Side Street, directed oh, by oh, Anthony yeah. Mann, yeah. Oh, really? And they, they played this kind of star-crossed, uh, uh, mad, madly in love uh, couple mm -hmm. caught in the web of Noir, and uh, Farley went to see her as she was going. I think she succumbed to cancer, but he he got quite touched and emotional. They, they were really? very, very close. Oh, she's a wonderful, wonderful actress.